They're all set up, streets closed. Alzheimer's got me today. Worst I ever had. First I left the house, I got two miles away and I forgot all my belts. I had to turn around and go back. And then I got maybe a mile away from the home and I forgot to take my medicine. I had to turn around and go back out. And now I'm coming back from my truck to pick up something else I got on my table. But we're all here now. We're all set up. Lots of vendors. This place is jumping today, boy. Vendors everywhere. Vegetables. The best of it. Tie dye. The eggs. Now this is a new produce vendor. He's got him a made up trailer, made out of aluminum, with fold up sides. He shuts that board down, hooks onto his truck, and goes down the road. Stores everything underneath there, you see it? Cromwell's Produce. Now this is a fancy damn rig right here, boy. You see, it's kind of busy, too. Man, this is a neat rig. You see what I mean? He shuts her right down and takes off. Any beats? That's a pile of damn beats right there. Well, I finally got something to show Wolfgang Puck, one of the vendors. Actually, it's the lady who runs the market. I've got two, a bread knife, and this says it's a five inch scallop tomato knife. I've never seen one before. The three of these little tiki does. I haven't seen a lot of them. Okay. Got some nice mundials here. I've never seen any like this before with wooden handles on them, with grooves cut in them. These are nice knives. My first adventure with these, I've shot a lot of mundials, but none like, ever like this. Look at this ticket right here. Custom made knife. I'm guessing it's uh what, eight inches long? Six maybe, I don't know. I like it. Can appear to have ever been sharpened, but it's not too bad a shape either. I mean it's got some edge on it, you know what I mean? Stand by. Twelve fifteen. This guy rolls in. We're getting ready to close up. Big old buck. One ten. I'm working on it now. End of the day. That's Atlantic Avenue. See that plane flying by without advertising? The 
beaches and wide open. I'm headed to 86th Street to pick up a knife or some knives. I'm not sure. I know one of them needs a tip. He said he may have some others. So I'll do them later today or tomorrow and take them back Monday maybe. 86th Street land, Oceanside. Remember last week I did something down here. I did 24 cut codes with a lady on the same street, but she was on the land side. Stand by. Well, that stop made today. You can't see them too well, but there's seven knives there and a cleaver. And one has a broken tip on it. That was all I was supposed to get. But now I got eight. I like it. And we're headed home at 55 miles per hour. And there's the lifesavers. We got three heckles here, two a little utility type knife and a slicer and a cleaver. This is a Hankel International, I think, by the handle. I don't know what this is. There's no name I can make off. Nor have these. This is a really long, thin slicer. Look at that baby. And these two are identical in handles. I'm going to guess and say they're saboteurs, but they don't have to be. There's no marks on them in no place. This is an old serrated knife. Serrations are just about gone on it. And a little pair. As you see, it has no tip either. But this is the one I got called about. The guy said, okay, can you fix this tip? I said, yeah. He said, I might have some other knives for you. Thank God he had seven more. I'll get back to you.